Welcome back. The Halloween season is in full swing here in the Black Hills. And Keystone kicked off their haunted attractions last weekend. Our Mimi Herrick is live from Keystone Stork Museum to learn more. Thank you, Kate and Humberto. Good morning. I am joined by Gideon and Sid from here, the haunting of Keystone. Gideon, can you tell me a little bit about all three of the attractions that you guys have? There's a lot going on. You bet. So like you said, we're here at the Keystone Schoolhouse Museum. This is back for the 15th year. Uh, this is called, the attraction here is called Nightmares on Third Street, a little homage to one of our favorite 80s slasher flicks. Uh, Big Thunder Goldmine is back as well with uh, gruesome legends of Keystone uh, based on all true stories here from Keystone and uh, Rushmore Cave joins us with The Void. Okay, exciting. Now, you guys have done a lot of work to make this happen. Let, I'm going to pan the camera here and hand you the mic. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the details in this room? Absolutely. Uh, so we usually come and work on this for about a month at a time. Um, we only have a month because it does function as a museum during the summer months. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and so you guys put in a lot of effort to make this really scary and really, really exciting here. So um, can you tell me about, you know, some of the things that um, you guys work on to make sure that everything goes smoothly? Yeah, uh, <laughs> we have to make sure that we have actors show up every single night, get all the sets prepared. Um, <laughs> making sure customers are happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so you guys have um, a lot of, you know, uh, giving back to the community focus with some of the money that you're making here. Can you tell me what those are going to? We do, yeah, absolutely. For for the past 15 years, we've always had a charitable component, and so uh, people, when they come here, always want to kind of know what that's going to. Uh, this year, we are helping to refence the Keystone Cemetery, which is near and dear to a lot of the people in this community. That's where our loved ones are buried, and uh, it's a good area to keep the cows out of, so to speak. Yeah, and you know, you guys um, have this sort of three weekend only experience. Can you tell me a little bit about how many people do you see on average? Sure. Uh, you know, last year we saw about 4,400 people. Um, and so it's, it's busy, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, the time block uh, sales really help keep that kind of organized. It's not like the old days where you had to come and line up for two hours just to get into a place. Now you buy a time block online, come, stand in line for just a couple minutes, you're in, get through it. A lot more organized that way. Yeah, and you guys have some really talented scare actors here. Can you tell me a little bit about what goes into their training and, you know, what they do? <laughs> well, we have a lot of fun friends who can pop out of the shadows at any time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, um, when can people see you this weekend? Uh, we open on Friday again. Uh, we opened last Friday the 11th this, this week, uh, Friday the 18th. We start running at about 6 o'clock each night. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here bright and early and supplying us with that scare bright and early. My name is Mimi Herrick, live from the Keystone Schoolhouse Museum. Back to you in the studio. 